Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from Creative Coding Club, and today I wanted to draw your attention to this DevEb site. It's got this really cool globulous brain thing going on. I'm really not sure about how that all works, but a student had asked me about this section right here. You'll notice that as content scrolls in on the left, we have this really nice mask reveal going on over here on the right. Now that's probably just a clip path animation that doesn't require too much, but what's really nice if you focus in on here, you'll notice there is a little bit of vertical motion going on with those images as the clipping is happening. It's a really, really nice touch. Well, that aside, What's really tricky for me when investigating things like this is really how is the CSS and HTML set up, all right? What element is starting the pinning of a photos over here? And what is triggering the next element to sort of be revealed, all right? And when it's all done, what turns the pinning off, okay? And to do all that with GSAP, it's really just one small line of code. But again, for me, the trouble has always been, how is this all set up? So what I did was I poked a little bit behind the scenes and I came up with my own basic layout. And I came up with this visual masterpiece, all right? So we got this spacer element up top and then everything is inside this gallery, okay? Uh, the gallery starts at this red line here and goes all the way down to the bottom where it ends, and then we have another spacer, okay? And so here we just have everything scrolling as normal, all right? And this gallery is broken up into a left section and a right section. On the left here, we have these 100 viewport height unit sections that have this blue stuff sort of just centered to represent a heading and maybe a paragraph. And they're just stacked on top of each other, these 100 viewport height sections with centered content going on and on down the line. On the right, though, here we have this section here, which is again 100 viewport height units, and it's wrapped in a little bit of a purple outline right now. And its content is this photo thing, which is also vertically centered. So what we want to do is find a way so that when the gallery gets to the boom top of the window, we're going to pin this right section so it stays static as the left continues to move until the bottom of the gallery comes into view. Then we're going to detach it and send it up. All right. So in order to get this thing to pin with scroll trigger, it's really just a small amount of code. All right. I'm just going to take this here, uncomment it. And now as I scroll down, watch when a gallery gets to the top, the right side pins and the left is free to scroll naturally. When the last element gets centered is when its bottom is going to come into view and we're going to detach, all right? So I just love how smoothly all of this works and you can do it with just a small amount of code here. And I tell folks in the forums and all my students that in order to build the fancy stuff, you got to get these basics right and you got to start small. Build up with something simple one step at a time. And for a quick overview, what we're saying here is that the gallery is going to trigger the pinning of the right element. When the top of the gallery reaches the top of the window, that's when we're going to start pinning. And we're going to end pinning when the bottom of the gallery reaches the bottom of the window. This is all fairly straightforward scroll trigger stuff that you can learn about in the green sock docs. But my course Scroll Trigger Express will get you up and running quickly by exploring scroll triggers, key features and highly focused modular lessons. I'll show you behind the scenes of how pinning and pin spacing works and loads of other features like responsive layouts and animations. Head on over to creativecodingclub.com if you want to learn everything I know about green sock, scroll trigger and SVG animation. I got over 200 lessons waiting for you that you can start right now for less than a dollar a week. And for now, I'm going to leave you with this demo so that you can poke around with it. I challenge you to try to write this code for yourself here. Study the layout because I'm definitely going to be doing a fuller lesson on this for my students and we'll get into that clip path animation too. But hopefully this has been a helpful starter point for you and inspires you to do more with Scroll Trigger. Oh, and be sure to check out more of the DevEb site as well. It's loaded with really fun and stylish animations. They did an awesome job.